Hello everybody, welcome to my SQL Learning Guide for Beginners, which I have curated using many, many free resources, including YouTube, Udacity, Hacker Rank, PY App, and W3 Schools, and a few others as well. So this guide gives you a list of things to do for different parts. You can complete one part in a day or you can break it up across two days especially if you're working full-time you might need two days to complete a part so of course do what what works best for you however i do not recommend you do more than one part in a day once you finish doing a specific task you want to go over and check that you have completed it and you want to rate your comfort level from one to ten one being extremely uncomfortable and ten being absolute absolutely comfortable now please note that if you are not at least a nine or better in terms of comfort you will not have passed that specific task so, so for instance if i put a nine then i'm fine i pass but if you haven't done it yet or if you have a seven for instance in terms of comfort you still need to review that so you don't want to just you know move on you might need to go back and do that So let's just take a minute to go look briefly briefly look at the resources we're going to be using again all the resources i've put on here is accessible and free to everyone so the first one is udacity this is the main one udacity does have a free course for sql for analysts and my guide really really um, follows this a lot and the guide is a beginner's guide and is geared more towards analysts i don't really go over any database administration sql queries that might be something i would do if i do make an intermediate follow-up to this but really it's th this guide is really meant to introduce you to sql and if you're working as an analyst in a firm you will have enough code to really pull impactful information using some queries so for audacity we are going to be going up to lesson three only so we're going to do basic sql sql joints and aggregations once you've completed that if you'd like to go ahead you can do the other sections as well um depending on the demand for this guide i may do an intermediate and then an, then an advanced learning guide as well but we shall see next one we use is w3 schools the sql section of w3 schools ah here it is Please ensure that when you do your respectful modules for this, please do the practice. For every mo for every section, you see examples, but you can also try to solve. So when you go in here, please do try to solve. Practice makes perfect, and following this guide, you will see a lot of practice from Udacity, from from me asking you to do hacker rank challenges, and of course. It will be good if you spend lots of time on Hacker Rank just doing challenges yourself as well. So yes, Hacker Rank it, it does give you challenges for SQL and for other programming languages as well if you want to explore things beyond SQL. So you can just click on solve a challenge and you can solve that challenge. So it, it's really all about practice. Also in this guide, you get to have up to four different databases two you must have two are optional so having those databases really helps you to practice practice and practice and of course there's information on how to get this screen you're seeing right now we're going to be using postgresql that's the sql engine we're using but this is really not a software course it's more for the query course so i don't really go into or i don't really provide too many resources to teach you the software PG admin is just the GUI, it's the user friendly interface for you to um, operate PostgreSQL. Another resource we're using is PY. To find PY, okay, it looks like this. Um, you just have to go to your respective app store. Maybe you have um, an Android, so you want to go to, uh, I think it's called the Play Store. Or you have an Apple, you want to go to the App Store. So, PY, learn to code. It looks, this is the logo. It, the SQL section is extremely short, but it's it's a it's also a nice 
resource to have as well. So these are the four primary resources. YouTube is also a big one, but there are numerous YouTube videos. And of course, in the guide, there is links for every single thing that you need a link for. So yes, that's all I have for you. Please have at it. Um, you know, have fun with it. Tweak whatever you want. So maybe you might want to have a note section on, on here if you want to type up some notes. And you again, be sure that you pass something before you move on. If you need to review it, maybe you want to come back in a different day. And that's perfectly fine. I know sections like joins... That might be somewhere that you, you might need more time, that you might need to do more review. So repeat things as much as you need to to fully understand. Thank you so much for grabbing this guide. I really, really, really hope it's proved helpful to you and those around you. If it's helpful to you, then do share it and do spread the sequel. I really, really like SQL and I, co I consider it to be a gateway programming language. You know how they say gateway drugs. Um, anyways, I say that because SQL is the perfect bridge between the English language and programming language because SQL queries are really English. However, they get you a bit accustomed to some of the logic, some of the, some of the best practices of programming without all the weird symbols that could you know make somebody running for the hills so it's, it's actually pretty easy but practice is super important so definitely practice a lot there's so much in here for you to practice with i hope you enjoy this and i hope you have fun thank you so much goodbye